Hey everyone, Tim with Collect Jurassic, back with a really cool news update about Mattel Jurassic World's next toy line. That is Epic Evolution. This was first revealed at uh, San Diego Comic-Con last month, so moving away from Dino Trackers and evolving, if you will, to this Epic Evolution theme that looks excellent. Again, a lot of this was previewed at uh, the Comic-Con, but also um, some new official photos have dropped as well. So bear with me as I get through these Comic-Con photos. They are a little blurry, but I did my best to clean them up. But let's go ahead and jump right in with the first toy they revealed. This is the uh, Gripposuchus, another sort of like prehistoric crocodile sort of uh, uh, animal. And it looks awesome. I and mean, we already have Sarcosuchus, right? Uh, excellent toy. But this Gripposuchus um, definitely brings something a little bit different with that super elongated curved snout and these wild colors. I really like the colors. It reminds me of some of like the old Carnegie toys, I guess. But um, I mean, yeah, it's cool to see that we're um, part of Epi Epic Evolution. It isn't going to just be dinosaurs, but also um, kind of exploring some adjacent prehistoric creatures as well. And we're also bringing back that um, that theming the Dino Trackers had in terms of like habitats or biomes. Each of these figures was revealed with sort of a attached uh, habitat with it. Griposuchus here was revealed with the river habitat. So we'll still see that um, sort of like little uh, biome branding uh, across the toy line, mo mostly on the packaging, but also sort of reflected in the paint schemes as well. Um, but speaking of packaging, we actually have official photos of the Griposuchus Epic Evolution packaging. So you get a pretty nice look at that here and see that uh, it also kind of previews what the Epic Evolution play feature will be. It's like a spinning wheel on the back of each figure that is supposed to um, kind of create this consistent natural motion is what they're calling it. So in this case, I think uh, the, the mouth opens and I think the neck moves back and forth. Um, but yeah, the Epic Evolution packaging itself is looking pretty slick here as well. No overt um, classic Jurassic World logo. Instead, we have like the T-Rex skull in the upper left and also the Jurassic World world wording broken out so something a little bit different um, than what we usually see with the regular Jurassic logo um, but if you also take a look you can see up in the upper right hand corner that river habitat um, icon so they're bringing all that into um, you know these figures so I like that they're not just resetting what they did with down trackers completely but um, evolving it which is uh, feels very appropriate and um, yeah Gripple Suk is here definitely one of my most anticipated from this line moving on we have a uh, I can't, can't believe we haven't done this figure yet because it seems like Mattel has hit pretty much ever every dinosaur that's a carnivore and a theropod under the sun but I guess they still have a few more to go including uh, Megalosaurus here which is actually somewhat common not one of the more obscure species they've done but Megalosaurus obviously um, you know kind of looks like an Allosaurus or something like that um, and uh, you know to sort of differentiate it from all those different uh, theropods we have already I'm thinking like Syats, uh, Tarbosaurus, um, the list uh, the list goes on and on I'm thinking like a Aleoramus there's so many different ones we've gotten over the years but Megalosaurus here at least has some very interesting coloration I love the white stripe on the neck it feels um it feels very uh kind of bird-like in a way which is kind of cool um and i and you can kind of see in the back um the hint of that um action wheel that the epic evolution play feature uh, utilizes to make this figure kind of move around and i think we get a better look at that on the packaging here too where you can see the the actual um you know production figure not those cleaned up comic-con images that maybe aren't the best quality but in this box uh, shot you can see a little bit clearer how that paint deco works also see in the upper right hand corner that savanna habitat icon and then those little arrows on the top of the box show how you can spin the wheel and make megalosaurus here sort of dip its head down and snap um it looks like it has you know articulation in the arms and legs too that won't be tied uh to the action feature but um it's definitely uh another sauropod, I mean, the, uh, or theropod rather, I feel like we've gotten so many of these, um, they really have to uh, fight to be, uh, you know, different from one another. So hopefully getting this one in hand, it definitely feels like something a little bit different than so many of those other carnivore uh, figures that we have. Uh, I would note here too, that the teeth on a lot of these figures look like they're separately molded now versus painted, allowing them to be a little bit sharper and spaced apart. So you're seeing that here on Megalosaurus. Moving on, this is uh, another kind of uh, deviation from what we're used to. This is part of the Danger Pack assortment. Both of these figures 
Eoraptor and Stego, Stegoris will be actually bundled together in a two pack. So um, alongside the other danger pack figures that come with one dinosaur each, this one will actually be a two pack um, featuring two smaller dinosaurs that you can see here. So Eoraptor and Steg Stegoris both have limited articulation because they are so small. Looks like the arms and legs move for both of them. But other than that, we don't, maybe the jaw moves for Eoraptor, but no neck articulation um, in either of these. And that's because they are so small. So you're basically getting two figures um, that make up the same size as one danger pack figure. But what's really cool about this is this is the first ever thing Mattel's doing with two figures uh, and one little pack. And I'm guessing that that'll open the door up for a lot of other species like Compsognathus, Colophysis. I mean, there's a lot of smaller dinosaurs we have yet to see come to the Mattel Jurassic line that could possibly get this two pack treatment. I wouldn't even mind if they did two of the same species in one pack and like for compies. Um, moving on, we also have, and um, you're forgiven if you weren't able to guess this, but this is actually a Triceratops. So Mattel's finally going back and um, refreshing that base classic species figure. We've had so many Triceratops figures over the years, at least six or seven, possibly more. And if you count uh, Hammond Collection and the uh, Hammond, or sorry, the Habitat Defender, you know, we have even more than that. But this is um, supposed to be sort of a refresh of that kind of mid-range electronic Triceratops. I believe this is Wild Roar, and it looks like it's going to have um, a mouth that opens and possibly even some sort of spike action on the frill. Hard to make out in this photo, but I'm wondering if those spikes aren't tied to some sort of action feature. Um, but yeah, interesting color, interesting sculpt, lots of big, giant, sort of defined scales, almost looks like cracked earth. And I believe this one was part of the uh, tundra habitat. So um, it also sort of paint deco plays into its biome that you'd find it in. This next figure is really exciting. Um, let me see if I can pronounce this correctly. Ec Rixinatosaurus, Ec Rixinatosaurus. Hopefully I'm saying that right, but a really cool um, sort of like Carnotaur adjacent. I think they're called Abelsaurids. Um, very similar to Scorpio Venator, Carno, things like that. Um, but this is a one we haven't gotten. Again, the Ecrixinatosaurus, sort of a mouthful, but a lovely looking figure. I really like the dark coloration on the head. They made the arms super small, which I think really helps kind of sell these Abelsaurid um, species a little bit better when they don't play up those proportions. And it looks like definitely here we have those smaller, sharper molded teeth too versus um, something painted. So really coming together to, to look, um, you know, a little bit more premium. The paint is a little lacking and that it only goes to the mid back again, but that's sort of a trend we're seeing. I'm hoping again, at some point Mattel will get back to kind of bringing those stripes um, at least to the base of the tail. Um, and then our last figure we're going to look at here, uh, again, it kind of looks like a Stegosaurus, but it's, I assure you it's not. It's the Hesperosaurus, another um, sort of species, uh, obscure species that I've never heard of, but that is getting the, the toy treatment here um, for epic evolution. So Hesperosaurus, you can see has the plates like Stegosaurus, and then hidden in between those plates is that spinning action wheel that's going to activate its um, tail uh, to, to kind of swing those spikes around. And and I think this one looks like it's some sort of swamp habitat too. It doesn't really say outright what it is, nor was this one of the ones that Mattel talked about during San Diego Comic-Con. So I'm not 100% sure what biome this is supposed to be, but um, it definitely has a very naturalistic paint um, deco, which I think all of these figures sort of share. It's no nothing too wild or crazy. It feels very um, real world and sort of something you'd see out in nature. So something that I really liked about the Dino Trackers line or the Dino Escape line that seems to be making uh, sort of a resurgence here with the Epic Evolution line. And again, Epic Evolution, you know, is technically the next theme. And normally we would call that the 2024 theme. You'd think that that would mean a lot of these toys would start hitting next year. But I'm assuming these will actually start hitting maybe even as uh, early as this fall, if not, um, you know, right before the holidays. So I would expect these Epic Evolution figures to be coming out very soon. And these are just a, a handful. I mean, there's going to be um, obviously full waves in each assortment. So stay tuned to Gluck Jurassic. I will definitely be um, making more videos and, of course, announcing on social media some of those new figures that are on the way. But I think that's all I got for this initial reveal. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe. Again, I'm Tim with Gluck Jurassic, and I'll see you next time.